Hi, welcome back. Uh, my name is Adam Compton. We're going to be uh, doing another tool demo here today. Actually, we're going to be doing two small tool demos. Uh, both of them are focusing around uh, Cisco devices. First one is called SIET. It stands for Smart Install Exploitation Tool. Uh, and it targets the uh, Cisco Smart Install uh, service uh, if it's not properly secured or uh, restricted. A uh, tool like this can go and download the config or first test of the config can be downloaded. Second, it can be it can download the config or possibly upload a replacement config, things of that nature. Uh, you can read up more about it on the site itself or on any number of different blog articles that are out there on the internet right now talking about the Cisco Smart Install uh, issue. So let's go ahead and uh, clone this. So let's go get clone. Let's go ahead and cd into that directory. Let's look. Okay, let's clear screen. Python siet h. And you can see here you can specify the target IP. You can target, I mean, specify the uh, dash t just to test it, dash g to get it. Um, you can also there try to upload a replacement config, update the iOS, execute commands, things like that. You can also give it a list of IPs to test. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to be targeting a single IP. We're going to be testing and getting the config. So let's go ahead and clear the screen again. Uh, so let's do Python, SIT-T-I. Let's go ahead and paste in the uh, config, I mean the uh, system we're going to go after. You see there that it says it is affected. So now we're going to do the Python dash G to get it. Let's go ahead and go after that system again. And it's going to go out and try to grab it here. One thing to note here is this tool can be very um, easily weaponized, which some people have done already. Uh, I suggest you use your best common sense and um, awareness here and only target systems that you have proper authorization to target. Uh, do not do this against any random system you see out there. Do not go out and scan for these kind of systems and start attacking them. Um, that it would definitely be against the law. And um, if you're on an engagement, internal pen test, external pen test, and you come across one of these, and you have authorization to target it, by all means do so. Um, it is a great source for information about the target. Uh, you can possibly decrypt some of the passwords out there, which is what we're gonna be doing a little bit later. Uh, you can also possibly uh, use that password if you decrypt it to do password reuse on other systems. Uh, you can use it to uh, log into that device, things of that nature, and so forth. As you can see here, we've downloaded the config file. So let's go ahead and just be simple. We'll grep for a password out of that file. And you can see there, there's two type 7 passwords that have come out of it. Great. So now let's go down and let's see it uh, into another directory here for another tool that we have actually grabbed. Um, before it's called Cisco PW Decrypt. It's uh, designed to decrypt Cisco passwords. Let's go ahead and copy one of these passwords into memory. Okay, let's clear screen. And now let's look in here. So let's do Python, uh, Cisco. Okay, a couple of different types there. From here we can do uh, Python, Cisco dash T for type seven. That's what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and paste in that uh, password that we grabbed earlier, hit enter, and as you can see there, we now have the decrypted password. You could use that to log into the device to do whatever you want to now. Um, as I said before, use discretion when using this, only use it on authorized systems. Um, this is the same recommendation or disclaimer that comes with all security tools. They can be used for good or bad. Um, please don't go out there and start attacking random systems with this. I only go after ones that you have legal authorization to. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little video here. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. If you want to be updated to new ones as they come out, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button as well. Go ahead and hit that little uh, bell icon. Uh, until next time, thank you and have a great day.